Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft YouTube tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to obtain legal blocks using an NBT editor for your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds. So I hope you guys like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so here are our example of a few illegal blocks. As you can see, we have the nether reactor core, we also have the glowing obsidian, we also have the portal block. We also have the unknown block, which used to be called the update block, and it used to have this like green text on it, but Minecraft changed it to this like dirt block with a question mark and called it the unknown block. We also have the end gate, which is my personally my favorite block to use because this one just looks so damn cool. So we also have the stone cutter, the older version that used to be a full block for Minecraft Pocket Edition. So as you can see, the modern part of this now is a stone cutter that's a half block. So if I were to scroll right here and let's find it, as you can see, it's, it's also animated as you can see compared to the older version. So let's show you guys a bit more examples. So here are some more like examples that you can obtain. You can also obtain like lit redstone lamp, a fire block, soul fire. You can also obtain water, lava, tile bubble column name. You can also obtain the end portal. This is the gateway. Honestly, they look kind of weird. As you can see, the end portal is the one that's a full block. I thought this one was that one right here at first, but if I placed it, as you can see, it's a end portal right here. So that's kind of that can be a bit confusing as well. So I hope you guys don't confuse this too. So there's also the invisible bedrock. Now this is the most annoying block to use because the problem with invisible bedrock is if you place it, you have to literally use commands just to remove it. So if you want to annoy your friends, you can use invisible bedrock and they will be so annoyed. They cannot remove it by hand. It's like a worse version of a barrier block. But this time you can't even identify if it's there or not. And you have to use cheats on for it to like remove it. You have to like use slash that block or slash fill. So anyways, as you guys can see, you can obtain a bunch of like illegal blocks in Minecraft and depending on how you want to use it, maybe you want to like show off to your friends, maybe you want to troll with it like the invisible bedrock, or maybe you want to use it for building like the end gateway right here. I will show you guys right now how to obtain them. Alright, now that we are in the Minecraft NBT editor, all you have to do now is open your world. So if your world does not show up here, all you have to do is click on this folder icon right here. And if you're not in this directory, you can copy the directory in the description. So you can just like copy paste it into this right here, your search bar. So in our case, we will want to go to YouTube video, our world right here. Select folder, open the world. And what you want to do now from here is go to view files right here. Go to database, go to local players. And what you want to do is find inventory, which is this one right here. Toggle that down and you'll see a bunch of entries. So as soon as you open one of these entries right here, this is where it gets easy. So all you have to do now is write the name of whichever illegal block you want. For in our case, let's go for maybe a netherite reactor. Let's go for Minecraft nether reactor. So the next step is to just increase the count so that you will exist in your inventory. Because if it's zero, it will just automatically delete the item. So let's maybe go for one. So as long as it's not zero, it will show up in your inventory. So that's the only important step right here. So all you have to do is name the item, the illegal item that you want and then write count to something that's not zero. So let's go for another example right here. Let's go for, maybe let's go for Minecraft portal right here, this portal block right here. So what you wanna do now is increase the count again by one. Now, if you're satisfied with the blocks that choices that you have gotten, all you have to do now is just save the world and it should show up in your inventory. So let's go back to the world. All right, so a little bit of heads up, I may have mistyped the Minecraft part in the portal. I wrote Minecraft flat instead. So I hope you guys don't get confused on that part. I rewrote it off screen. So anyway, so as you can see, we now have the items in our inventory. As you can see, we have the Minecraft portal and the Minecraft nether reactor. As you can see, it's pretty simple to just uh, get illegal blocks in Minecraft. All you have to do is just write their names and then put count to one. So you can put the count on anything as well. You can put it in the 64. Maybe you want to make it illegal, illegal. <laughs> put it on 92. Uh, that's kind of up to you. So anyways, as you can see, it's pretty simple to get illegal blocks. I hope this helps you in your world, and I hope you guys like and subscribe. And without further ado, goodbye.